Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I'm gonna dance, dance, dance the night away with Dance and Daryl. Hat trick. Battle, friend. And we have a decent opener. Back up and turn it around. The thing is, Daryl definitely wants tokens early. I still think we're gonna tavern up like normal though. <laughs> we just want to find a, a decent divine shield minion to put some buffs on, and then and then we either do kind of a tier three. Dance, dance, dance strategy, or we play more standard and just try to go to tier, tier like four or five. Then we can get a cave hydra possibly and dance on that. Rough battle. Pick yourself back up and turn it around. I don't think this is worth a freeze. Wasting hats just to get some tempo like that is a long-term loss, short-term gain, but we lost our first fight, so I want to try to preserve my health total. Keep up the momentum, friend. I don't really care about this battle cry buff because it's not like permanent. I'm not gonna keep this guy forever. I think we just take the air. In worst case scenario, those are two two buffs that we can use on something more important later. That's See, the thing about dancing Daryl that's kind of weird is that sometimes you just don't want. You don't want triples. Sometimes a triple is worse than just dancing. But when you get offered the triple, you feel kind of obligated to, to take it because it's like, ooh, a triple. <laughs> That's good, right? Trained, trained, impish, slimed. It's, it's a lot of buffs. Take yourself back Great target. Turn it around. Acceptable target. So next turn we're gonna make that thing biggish. At least 10, 10 to 15 stats should be enough to carry us through the early. Well, it's not really early game anymore. It's kind of more like mid game, but it should be enough to carry us through. Another 
I think that for now that's good enough. I don't want to commit too much more. I want to keep our board still wide. And that should buy me time to tavern up, rearm with some cheap token battle cries. The minions on the board right now that are temporary are pretty much everything except for probably maybe these two. This guy's staying. This guy might stick around just because he's been around for a bit. He's got some passive attack value now. But everything to the right of those two, I think, can just be sold. Put the buffs on something important. So since we do have a Harvest Golem, I'm, I'm hoping we can find a Cobalt Guardian to dance on. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. You know, I think I'm just going to take this triple right now, actually. I actually only have one beast, amazingly. We never take a Bolvar, right? That's stupid. I think I can afford to just wait one turn, so let's take the Menagerie Magician, and then... We're only on Tavern 3, so I can't find a Cave Hydra. Still, I just need to get, like... I don't know. Something else. Something else to dance on. Easy. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Nice. I don't care about those two hats. I just I needed to get the replicating menace into the amalgam. With extra recharge on the big cobalt. Cobalt? Cobalt? Cobalt. 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 Guardian. That's what he's called. Cobalt. Get it right. Ooh. Just an extra recharge. That was a golden selfless hero. We got no value out of it. Okay, if we could get a second Cobalt Guardian, that'd be sick. We could get, uh... Yeah, okay. So what are we doing here? Uh, I don't want to dance this turn, because there's too much trash that I don't want to buff. We don't want to dance on two, because when you create a triple, it takes the highest stats of two, the two highest statted minions out of the three. So if I buff this one and this one, we're kind of splitting the buff. We just want to focus it all, so I think we buy this one. And we play. 
we buff this one, so this one's just vanilla stats. We dance on this one, and then we end up with two freaking ginormous guys. Going for the triple, I think, is still okay. I think it's still good. Kind of makes us weaker against poison. But it also, it's just going to make it absolutely freaking massive, you know? Thirty, thirty-four, the forty-four attack somewhere on there probably. So what can be sold? This. You got this. Probably get rid of this Way at this ahead. point. That gives me enough board space to play the alley cat battle cries. Look at that! He survives. A direct attack without a divine shield. He's so chunky. He's just such a big boy. He ate his greens when he was growing up, didn't he? Do greens make you chunky? I feel like they do. Maybe not. I don't know. I just say words. They don't always make sense. Four. Big and chonky. Alright. Goldrin doesn't have any synergy. It's gotta be the junk bot here, right? Mech, 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 mech. Microbots inside that one, sure. So now it's so huge that I kinda don't want to waste its first attack. Especially if he's got Taunt, Divine Shield. So let's actually do... Let's do the, this guy first. So that we're not wasting a 44 damage hit. Of course, I only have five minions, so the opponent's gonna get to attack first. It's entirely possible that my Harvest Golem dies and we get no value. Everyone's gunning for you. But still, it's got 30. The Cobalt Guardian has 38 health. So it's gonna take poison or most of the opponent's board just to kill the damn thing. Hey, look, that thing that I said could happen just happened. We still have one more recharge, though. Need to dance on a security rover. It's probably time to go to Tavern 4. I'd like to add a Hydra. I think I want that. Oh, we're on four, that's right. I tavern up last turn. Forgot about that. Poison or more tokens? That one might make all the difference. Sell sell gives me two. Don't want to sell this. Do I? Yeah, I guess I just want the I just want the value right now, probably. Yeah, probably. I mean having a wide board is nice though. We have 34 health. Let's just wait one turn. We'll pop with that thing. Nah, we'll pop with our... Yeah. No, no, we'll pop with this one. I wanna... This guy's got microbots inside him. I want him later in the attack order. We can afford to wait. So this is gonna go... If I put that into the Amalgam, then we end up with uh, 
six in there, which is probably wasted. Probably goes into the shield of Minibot, actually, since this guy is sticking around. Boom. But also put it into the junk bot. It seems kind of counterproductive to put microbots inside a junk bot, because then the junk bot can't get buffed by those microbots. But it also protects them against getting picked off if you don't run taunt. See, like, he nearly died there. If, if he had a whole bunch of extra stats just to start with, that might be solid. Stupid Cobalt Guardian. Cost me six health. Yeah, okay, Hydra. We buy everything except for the things we want above. Then we sell everything. Here's a gold for the trouble. We consider dancing on it again, maybe one more turn, just to make it relevant. Nine damage isn't really relevant. And the board state's still pretty good. Problem is that I've got three gold. No, I think I just have to buy this one. If we find a second one. Big, small, big, small, big, small. Eventually big. Leave Divine Shields. We fought this guy seven turns ago and he was running a weird, well, like a beastish comp. It'd be completely different at this point. Three triples, Tavern four. He's won a few fights in a row. We shall see. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. Damn. There's my poison. Ah. My cleave is one damage too small. Three, two. It's nine plus four. Thirteen. One point shy. You're good at this. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Except mice. This is uh, not useful here, but it's useful on these two. And ramping up that Divine Shield and then also getting this thing just a bit bigger. Like, worst case scenario, you want your Junk Bot to have like... What is it? Zap Slywick's got 10 health, I think. Yeah, if you can get your Junk Bot to 10, at least if they run a Zap, your Junk Bot kills it. Instead of letting him double trade with it. Okay, so next turn, we're not dancing, are we? Not really. I mean, I guess I, I could actually dance on that Harvest Golem. No, I can't really. I can't dance right now. I have no board space for dancing. Let's see if you can stay on top. 
We can take advantage of the fact that the Harvest Golems come off the board for a second. Need a bigger cleave. Even just a token cleave like Faux Reaper might be nice right now. So. It's good to get some minions in play. Like I'm wasting my hats here, but let's just play more standard. I just need to cycle some buffs. Forget the hats, they don't matter. I have no top minions. We're running a kaboom bot. You got this. You're way ahead. At least it's a good thing to use for suicide on a divine shield, because it might pick something else off. You never know. Also pick off two divine shields theoretically. It did not, but it could have. Yikes! He still has divine shield poison. If that poison goes down, then my Cobalt Guardian's probably going to be able to take him out. But if I lose the shield to something small and then that poison stays, then I've got no chance. Okay, the poison's down. That's 26. Probably means we tie, depending on attack order. And then I might win because of the microbots, unless I do something stupid like that, in which case I lose by a lot. Nice. I've got a pretty derpy Cobalt Guardian here, don't I? It's twice this lobby that he's been a dumb, dumb... Hmm... Playing as a dead player, so I've got a little bit of time right now. That's what I would have picked. That's incorrect. For some reason in my brain, like, these were gonna create board space somehow, but now I just, like, lost my buff slot. 
I almost feel like the Junkbot's not doing anything. I almost sold him as well, but he could get big. The Junkbot without a security rover just feels like it's not going to scale enough. I don't know. It did end up getting decently sized, but... Hopefully one of our opponents just killed the other. Good. And we are back to fighting Sindragosa, who is the one that beat me, so... Okay. Okay. So who goes? Um, it's got to be King Burger Gold. So we're buying this... to get some minions in play. May the carry guide you. Defensive systems online. I like where you're going with this. Fought you two turns ago, you had a taunted Goldrin, a taunted Selfless Hero, and a taunted Divine Shield Poisonous Amalgam with 23 health. So only one Divine Shield Taunt. One in three chance that we hit the Divine Shield Taunt. Actually, if he keeps the positioning the same, it's a two-thirds chance that we cleave it. It's probably the best use of the cleave, because it's not going to kill anything otherwise. We'll do that, that. Let's put you here. Let's do that. It's fine. He's got his own cleave. This cave hydra might get too big. We'll see. Smart hydra. Didn't die this time. See if he high rolls his gas coiler. What did the cleave? That's pretty huge. And a pretty low roll. Spawn on his ass, not great. He could get value if that thing suicides, but probably doesn't. I need to position better against this cleave. I gave up my junk pot, which was a mistake. Um, nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. The problem is this is the only thing that can go, so I don't really want to go for that pair. Care about having two taunts versus one? I... One taunt. He's not really trying to like pick it off with a big poison minion, so one taunt seems fine. Uh, yeah. Let's sell that. One taunt actually makes it easier for me to play around his, um... His Hydra. Get the Selfless Hero? Good. Now his guy cleaves into my guy, but it doesn't actually kill my Hydra, so now my Hydra gets to cleave. Pulling the Divine Shields off both the Taunt and the Goldrin. Taunt on Goldrin, or sorry, Divine Shield on Goldrin is actually kind of bad. Oh. All right, forgot about the microbot.
Fortunately, we have microbots inside everything. Even if we had lost that last minion. Chipping away. You're good at this. Good dance on a second Hydra. Does that help me at all? It definitely works well against Death Rattles. He's doing more of a Death Rattle build than a Kind of death. It's just one gas coiler. Hmm. Just gonna take a token cleave. I'm not gonna try to buff it. Just got a triple, so we could expect a second gas coiler, maybe. Alright, so if I have a second Hydra out, I'm hoping that that Hydra is picking off the Divine Shield for me. There's only a 66% chance that that works. Maybe more if his taunt goes first. I'll make sure these ones stick around for the next time. I want that. He's only on tavern four? No, he's on six. He just got a triple. I wonder what he discovered. Wow. Just got very unlucky missing his fine shield on that taunt there with the double Baron Riven there. I just need my Cobalt Guardian to trade into that Scavenging Hyena and a token to take out the shield. And then I think we've got enough stats. Nope. Okay, so we lose this fight. If we can take down the Baron, we are going to have enough health. Or at least another try. So that fight, he did well because his Hydra cleaved my Hydra. So we got to put the Hydra in position 4 or otherwise change the, the order slightly just so that we don't lose our cleave. Cleave is also still quite small. Really I wonder if taunting everything would help. If I have a smaller taunt, right now he's taking advantage of the fact that I have single taunt. He's getting that guaranteed death rattle. But yeah, multi taunt is going to be good. Uh, this guy is useless. Do I have space for Bran? Not really. A good tactical choice for poison. My shield for Argon. Taunt on the edge, taunt on the edge, taunt here, like that. Don't want this to get cleaved. Eh, whatever. Also wasted two gold there. Hopefully his taunt smashes itself. I mean, I, I unfortunately, crap, I taunted big things, so his golden still dies. That was not my plan. My plan was to taunt something small on purpose so that he couldn't kill his, his golden. He got rid of his uh, gas coiler. That's kind of interesting.
Yeah, I threw that. I think I threw. The very end there, I... I bought the Argus intending to taunt the smaller Hydra as a bait Hydra, and then I, like... got fixated on... taunting the Divine Shields to get, like, better trade value out of them. That was a mistake. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Second place is still okay. We're up to 7500 at ELO or MMR now, so that's cool. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you in a bit.